welcome to another exciting episode of the Foul Parody Podcast. We are finishing off this year's run. We play every October. You can find us at www.rollmonger.com. A plethora of shows, first edition, second edition, Star Wars Saga edition, cast members, Monday night, Friday night. We have like about 12 Rollmongers now. We have quite a few Rollmongers and hopefully a brand new DM soon. Very soon. But right now, it is time for a battle. Not just any battle. That will decide the fate of... Oh, let's let's be real. Rom's first action is going to be drop the torch. Like, we know. Or the tinder or whatever. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to go down. Nico steps forward. About to cast something awesome. And since Matt is not here tonight, and I don't want responsible for the character death, but I am also refused to have him help you, because you have lots of characters. There's lots of you guys around. Party of four, it's fine. A couple hundred peasants won't. Yeah, cannon fodder, don't worry. Nico takes a rock to the head and goes down. Doink. For now. Bringing us to Simmery. Simmery, you are up. What do you do? Where is our horse boy? Is it the black square? No. Uh, sorry, I need to put him on the board. Um, I will mark his position. He came out, started here, you know, how dare you all? And now he's moving like around, you know what I mean? Like circling, staying in the back, like, hey, people, you know, that kind of thing. For you to inter- intercept, you would have to move through some angry looking. Oh, look, they're armed. Um, Farmer people, or take the wide way around and go straight at the cleric. Clerex. Uh, I mean, it looks like he's going around and I can just scoot around the burly guys. Oh, now there's suddenly someone else. Okay. Well, that's the clerics. That's actually Lacal and his mom's beside him and there's people. Like I said, there's, there's people. Right. Oh, I, we didn't release Lacal, did we? No. Oh, okay. Oh, it, that's, he's that's, still in the prison cell. I will say he that is the position of the clerics. Okay. For lack of minis, that's mom and yeah, that's mom and there's people behind her. Anyway, these squares are mom Lacal. Yeah, ten feet in front of you, five feet in front of you, is like a space, and then there's just you know a couple dozen people. Um, I won't say you can't move through them unless they're come up hostile like these four pig farmers. We'll just say that they are difficult terrain. Okay? So, um, imagine, I guess it would be easier if I just draw it. Imagine that this stuff here, you know, where there is no road, you know, is filled with people. And you guys can just, you know, out of my way, you know, because people will fall back in front of the Baron's insignia, as it were, but it slows you down enough that they're difficult terrain. Double moves. Anyway. What do you do, Simri? Well, I was going to throw a dagger at him, but now there's people in the way, and I think he's out of range anyways, so. 30, 40, yeah, is at the end of five increments. Technically, it's doable, but I don't think you want to take that penalty. It's huge. <laughs> How far is range? You can throw something five times its range increment. You can string a bow and shoot a mechanical range weapon ten times its range increment. And you take penalties every range increment. So if he's about 50 feet away and a dagger has a 10-foot range increment, you're taking like two, four, six, eight, you know. It gets pretty bad pretty quick. Mm. Well, that ruins my plans. I guess I'll just draw my kukri and take up a defensive position. Okay. Uh, Fighting defensively, as it were. That way you can get the bonuses. Defend the pyre. Okay. Um, the 
cleric is calling out to the crowd or to you who like did you guys name who was on the pyre you just said this guy this citizen like did you actually say it was lauren i haven't gotten that far no so is it a Sorry. knight or I'm a asking, cleric i'm asking i'm asking Niles. No, I, I did not specify. There was okay. supposed to be more speeching as the fire went on, but uh, you know. uh, okay. So you didn't name who's on. The, so um, the clerics don't act. They're calling out to the crowd and yelling at you guys. Who is that? Who are you executing? Executing? Can't one- talk right now. Have to fight. <laughs> yeah. Um, at a generic eleven, halfway between one and twenty, uh, Fancy Grounds has been kind and sort of stuck your combatants in the middle. The pig farmers step forward. Five foot step. Um, Buddy, you know, they've got uh, farm instruments and, you know, like whatever it's a hand for their business. So they either have size or clubs. We'll just go with club. It's probably the easiest and not so nastiest thing. So the farmers in the pig world. One guy steps forward and takes, swings his club at Simmery and swing and a miss. And the second guy comes forward and also takes a swing at Simmery. No good rotten apple this town. And another miss. And the third, I guess it's kind of easy when they're all, (laughs) comes forward and takes a swing at Niles Cronin. Bomp. That's like three sevens in a row. Look at that. Seven, seven, seven on the dice. Plus two, nine, nine, nine. And they also do the lottery. Oh, jeez. Lucky number seven. Um, and the last guy steps up and kitty corner, you know, with Rom here. Uh, da, 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 da. Unhand him. Let the drifter go. Well, guess what? These guys are mad and swinging wildly and do not hit anything, which brings us to Luca. Professor, get ready on deck. Luca, what do you do? I move around out okay. to about here. So, sorry, let me draw a picture. Middle of town square, I have a line, or the east side of the town is all the people, and they are sort of in a line pressing to the west, where we have Simri in front of the well. To herself is Rom in, next to the pyre, the pyre itself, a space, and Niles. And behind uh, Cronin, we have Nico on the ground. Ten feet behind Simri, around the well she's in front of, we have Luca, who's now skirting wide to the north to where the clerics are. Okay, and? And I'm going to cast Color Spray towards the pig farmers. I can only get the first two, but... Okay. Uh, Do you target them, or you want me to target them for you? Uh, It's not really a target spell. It's a they make a save. Yeah, I should... uh, If you cast it, it should automatically roll my saves for me. Oh, okay. Let's see if I have it uh, written in. I do not have it written in. You don't have color spray on your sheet? Added. Added to my character sheet yet, no. Okay. Um, so I can make saves for these guys. That's fine. And we'll add you in a minute. I could probably make their saves faster than I could add the spell for you, but that's fine. Farmer number one sure. has a save I'm of going one. to boost this. Sp- uh, I'm going to be boosting it. So the save is 17. Okay, so as a move action, you move up. Standard, you cast. And as a free action, you boost the spell. Is that how that works? Yes. I think it's a swift action, but yes. Boosting it with what? An arcane reservoir point. Okay. And is this a fortitude reflex or will save? That is a will save. Oh, thank God. I've never seen a combat with a reflex saving throw of negative one before. (laughs) Oh, like, these guys talking about your lumbering farmers. Willpower plus zero. 18. He's very willful today. Okay, I guess get the second one as well. I'll just roll the same stat. 14. Uh, that one falls unconscious. Okay. Big farmer number two. For how long? Uh, color spray. 
two hit dice or less. Oh, sorry. I, unless they're more than two hit dice. Oh, no, no. These guys are like, uh, you know, like half a hit dice. <laughs> CR the creature is unconscious, <laughs> blinded, and stunned for 2d4 rounds, then blinded and stunned for 1d4 rounds, then stunned for one round. Uh, sorry, that was a lot. I'll just ask you as my turn comes up again. Um, is that you? That's you done? Yes. Okay. He can remind me and the audience as I come to his turn what he's suffering currently. And we'll roll dice for it if there's like numeral effects. Um, Professor Cronin, what do you do? Um, I disgorge my uh, my number two. You take a dump in the town square? In a sense, yes. That is what I do. Ha ha ha. Seriously, so, though? No, seriously, though, I do. It's my tumor familiar. You're letting your tumor leaves, familiar leaves my release. body. Oh, yes, okay. I call him number two. Okay. Yuck. But all right. Yeah. And he plops with the sound of a thousand wet loaves of bread. Huh. All right. For the listening audience. Bloop. Okay. And what is Oh, he? I'm sure it's not Bloop. What is he? What is um he? I base him off of a skunk. Okay. One skunk. Kerplop. There you go. Kerploop. Oh, oh look at he's so cute. Let me zoom and in. And he's inside out. Ew. <laughs> Never mind. Blah. Okay. So. Um Oh, uh, I've been a bit since I've run with a familiar. They have their own, how do their actions and things um, move? Um, that's ordering a companion, I think is a move action or free action. It's, it won't take your standard once you get them launched. I'm pretty sure. Help me out here, Aiden. Uh, working on it. Okay. It's been so long. What, what is in your action economy to release him? That's got to be at least a move if he's actually attached to your body. Well, does it say anything about like how do you release? It him? does not say anything about that. Okay. Just like drawing it says a sword it can from reattach a as a, it can reattach as a standard. It says nothing about de okay, Yeah. Okay. So it reattaches as a standard. So I'm thinking it's a, at least a move to make the single plop. So let's but say when move. he reattach when he reattaches, he gets fast healing five. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, so as a move action, we'll say for now, it's okay, because you don't really need to move anywhere. You drop him. You have a standard action left. What do you want to do yourself to defend yourself? Will he act? Uh, we're getting to that. Let's focus on okay. you. you. You drop him, and then... I drink um, my mutagen. Okay. Uh, using an item in front of a, an armed dude provokes. So pig farmer number three is going to take a swing at you. As you dig out your muajin. Oh, if that's the case, I will take a five foot step back. Steps okay. are the thing, right? Okay. If it's a move to drop them and a move back, that means you're done. Because step the, is the, a separate out of move, is not. You get a five, five foot, foot step. I uh, don't know if it's free in this. Because otherwise, people would like. Which we, um, I do remember it's using this question. Uh, five, five foot step, as long as you don't take any other movement. Yeah, you can do for free. Yeah, but he did um, move. And it doesn't provoke. Dropping the thing is a move action, but not movement. So, yeah, we'll roll with it for now. Yeah, he's okay to five foot step. Okay. And also, then, I, yes. I think the familiars have just kind of their complete own action pool. I, guiding them might be like a move or a swift action. It's basically just verbal commands. Yeah. So, sick. <laughs> so yeah. You, you step back and you drink what, Niles? Um, one of my many concoctions. This one gives me teeth and claws. Nice. So that's my free, my move to command, and my swift to Im imbid. Uh, well, technically, it's a move to drop them, a free to step back, and another move action to draw and imbid, or your standard, as it were, to... A move to drop him? 
he's attached to you. So I'm ruling, unless proven otherwise, it's a move action to drop him. You get a free action to step back, and your mm. last no, action... No, as has, a standard action, the Alchemist can detach. It's a standard to detach oh, him. Okay, okay. If that's the case, um, I'll still let you have your five-foot step, but... So you've got, I'll you've do gotta, the yeah yeah well I guess the embedding can be moved it, it yeah half dozen one or the other so you you're you're at where you're at at least and we're okay. done with you weasel I mean Mr Skunk number uh, two I'm gonna rename him just just so I don't keep screwing up number two there you go number two uh, since it's a standard action like a whole bunch of fuss to let him go I'll let you tell him what you want him to do so what do you tell him to do when you launch him. Shoot him. Okay. So he has what? He, he can, he has musk. Weapons. Uh, you know what? I it's a, tell me about it. Cause I'm, I'm using a weasel. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> up to twice, twice per day. A skunk can spray a steam, a stream of noxious musk at a, a single target within ten feet as a standard action. With a successful ranged touch attack, the creature struck by the spray must make a DC eleven fortitude save or be nauseated for one d four rounds, and then second for one d four minutes after the horrific strength, strength strikes them. Uh, such. A successful save reduces the effect to only 1d4 rounds of being sickened. A creature cannot use the scent ability as long as it is affected by this musk. The save DC is constitution based and includes a plus two racial bonus. I'll let you in a little secret, Ryan. I usually mm. roll for summon creatures to deter the fun of a player because I hate summon creatures, but familiars are different. So roll me a raw d20. Okay. And this will be his attack. And Seven. He's got a base attack of zero, range touch attack, dexterity 15, so we'll give him the plus two. So that's nine to hit. And these guys probably have a surprising low AC. Our AC is nine. <laughs> so Stinky nails him. And I no a constitution fort save. Fort save? Fort save it is. Eleven. Seven. No. Fail. You are now uh, nauseated for 1d4 rounds. Okay. Who is this? Big farmer number three. All right. We'll give him the nauseated condition or the sickened condition. All right. Uh, nauseated, then sickened. Well, I'll see what I got on my panel here. Oh, I have nauseated. All right. He's nauseated. All right. Nauseated for two, then sickened for one. Okay. I'll let you hold that in your head for me but I have nauseated on him uh, Excellent. That, that's you that's number two and then mm -hmm. the guy on the horse or I should say this figure um, he, the voice sounds male though the mask he wears seems feminine as a matter of fact it looks like the mask that the clerics presented during their sermon I will show you this mask once more. As soon as I find the mask. There we go. Dude wears a helmet that looks like a woman wearing that. Um, I want to say Aquarius. You know how they have the, the tight skull metal with the thin spine being like a tiny little fin that you always see like Aquaman guards wearing kind of thing. And then metal hair, really floofy hair out the sides, all metal done into the helmet. Only the eyes are carved out, the mouth and the nose, you know, so you, you really get that uh, boxed in voice. But, you know, with his megaphone, maybe that helped. And masculine voice on the actual horse and uh, let me just look up really quick wait the horse has a masculine voice no I no the guy, the guy on the horse <laughs> oh, the horse of course of course uh, where are we here blah 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 we did all this stuff uh, he's running around yes what does he do 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 I think he just rides back and forth, just getting everybody riled up. I don't think he engages just yet. 
Um, right. So he's running up and down the line. You know, rides this way <laughs> and back. Get him! Like, you know, maybe closing and pushing the people in. Get in there! You know, come on, fight for me! You know. Everybody's like, aren't you supposed to be at the front of this lineup, dude? Like, no, no, I'm... Uh, I will attack when the time is right! Rom. God help us all. What did Rom want to do? Rom, smash. Uh, let's see. Um, Brendan, smash? Uh, I'll drop the, the flint and steel on the ground as a free action. Okay. Draw my scimitar, move action. And look at Pig Farmer 4 directly in the eyes. If you spent a bunch of party gold, we'll look up how much it would make to make a giant telescope later. I will have let this thing set up and ignite itself in, in a number of rounds as the light comes up. Yes, boss mechanics. We but, are the bad guys. Uh, but I don't think it would take seconds. I think it would take minutes, so it's probably a moot point. So, Rom. Did you want to provoke by striking the tinder and get on with the fire, or you were happy just to drop it? I, I have already said I have dropped it. Okay, okay. We have not finished reading out his rights and and the thing uh, okay. and the okay. things that he has done wrong. So I am not lighting it as much as I want to. I just wanted to clarify that you weren't thinking the magnifying would, glass would do your work for you. If I it exists at all. I expected it did not exist. Okay, because we made zero crafting checks. <laughs> Uh, Arch Baron's battle. Or engineering checks or anything of the sort. This battle's over in the middle of the night. Two guys show up with the... <laughs> would have taken, you know, if we had four dudes, it would have taken... Anyway. Um, okay, Rom, so you drop your tinder and you... Draw a sword as move yep. action. Yep. Shield is already attached to my other arm. Um, stare pig farmer forward directly in the face. Surrender now and your punishment will be limited. Continue on and die. Okay. And I will intimidate check to demoralize. Uh, 24. I am second guessing my decisions this morning. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, not 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 feeling so blustery or full of wind. Yeah, yeah. I I, uh, uh, I am, what am I? Shaken? Disrupted? Something? Uh, shaken for a certain amount of rounds. Um, so it is dependent on the DC, which is... Hit- 10 plus his hit dice plus wisdom modifier. And, if you and for every five? five I beat it, I get he's shaking for an additional round. Okay. He's, we're like looking at 10. I've got no wisdom. I've got no hit dice. So he's nothing. shaking for probably three rounds. Yeah, at least two more. Yeah. Because uh, um, the 24 isn't quite 25. So that sounds good to me. Please make and then three. Can you, can you remove grappled from me? Because I'm not grappled. Aren't you hugging yourself? You're the only one who really cares about yourself, but fine. It's self-love, but the hugs are on the inside. Okay. You are you. no longer grappled. All right. Uh, and that's me. By the constraints of your former religion in Mode. Huh? No longer? Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's It fair. was a reach. Nico. Wake up, Nico. You're embarrassing us. <laughs> Nico, get up. Fortitude. 14 fail. Simmery. Everything attacked you at once, but you fought them off. Nothing hit you. What do you want to do? That was very rude of them. I see Rom's intimidation seem to go fairly well, so I will also try and um, tell them to fuck off. Basically, you know. Luca you guys the are guy. making a... Sorry, Luca dropped the guy right in front of you. So are you going after the guy north of you? Number one? Hmm. Uh, yep. We're literally about to execute a man. Do you want that to be your fate? 25. No, ma'am. <laughs> and we go big home. Farmer, uh, big far- <laughs> well, no, we're shaking. We're negative two and we're, <laughs> we're shaky, but we're staying here. We're not going to, we don't mm. flee. It's not a flee thing. Sorry. If you're a higher level, if I didn't know who your uncle aunt was. Uh, okay. Nicely done. And diplomatically done. Um, the perception roll. 
female mom cleric is just staring at the angel knight in the flesh in disbelief just jaw gate that she actually showed up just like she said she would she's aghast looking this figure up and down studying it just oh my god kind of at a loss her flock are holding their ground big farmer number one i am not intimidated but i am shaken uh well i don't want to go home and be a pansy so i'll uh um 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 well if only I had an attack of opportunity that i should have took on the caster that came right up adjacent to me and cast i was so distracted on the samurai oh well that's gone now actually rules lawyers would say actually wouldn't i have gotten a yes you would have and i can retcon inside of a round i think i will so I believe I owe Luca a swing. Luca came up and provoked. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Because you'd have to concentration check, and then it didn't happen. I got to raise guys up, and that's it's too far gone. However, I will make you because this girl, little girl beside you, frightens me. I will make you ten at negative two, eight. Oh, never mind. It's already doing the negative two because I've shaken on me, so it's actually ten. Ten, a swing and a miss at you. Um, and five foot step away from the scary little girl. Big Farmer 2 is out cold. Now, we talked about the effects. Dazzled, dizzying, nauseated, sickened, appalled, and shaken. Not stirred. Luca, your spell. Wipe this guy out, and he is what? Come round. Uh, like he a is... Still functionally unconscious for 2d4 okay. rounds. Okay. So he's going to have a nap for a little while. Did you roll it 2d4? I did not. Not yet. Okay. Go ahead. Give me a uh, 2d4. I guess I missed. <laughs> what? Well, I, I rolled one. It had a 4, and then it didn't register in the thing, so... Uh, three, three there rounds. we go. Three rounds. Okay, so we're down by a round. Uh, yep. When we get to you, uh, anyway, it's three of your rounds. Or three of mine. See, this is where was, we were talking about things starting at the beginning of the round or starting on their turn, right? You cast the spell. Oh, you know what? I will do the thing where I drop to your initiative. That makes sense. It's probably a second edition rule, but it works. So, solves so many problems here. So forget about him. Um, Simmery, and then we go pig farmer number one. And he already attacked you. And then we do pig farmer number three. And number three is like, ah, I am nauseated. So he, he gets to only move and dry heave. A lot of... <gasps> Can and stumbling cast around. spells or concentrate. Okay, so he backs up. Withdraws. One, two, three, four. If I can move, I'm allowed to withdraw. Uh, but you get half speed for withdrawing. Half again, because that's difficult terrain. Five, ten, fifteen. Yes. And half. Double move. 30 and half and half again. Yes? 60 feet and half is 30. Because I did a double uh, yep. move. And then again, it's... Yeah, yeah. No, when you're nauseated, you can only take a single move action per turn. Oh, a move action, not move actions. Sorry. Gotcha. Correct. Sorry. So, yeah. Five. Uh, I'm good. I can't see anyone <laughs> stumbling more, but like he would stumble into people, right? Like pff, as soon as I hit people, I'd stop. So he steps back five feet. Ima imagine just getting skunk musk in the mouth. No, no, that would oh. be the natural one. That was, <laughs> I was hoping for an after one of my fortune save and then I would be like, it's in my eyes, it's in my mouth. But it's like, nah, he just made it. So 
Save that. Like, he, he managed to close his mouth, but it got, like, right on his lip, like, right below the nose. It was just all we got, off we, and up. We got 20, <laughs> 20 levels. 20 levels of Niles Cronin and the skunk that one day is going to be the size of a bear and hit a guy in the mouth with a fire hose worth of skunk musk. So I'm saving my natural Oops. one of my screaming for then. Um, <laughs> yeah. Luca, yeah. it's your turn. You roll the 2d4. I've put the pig farmer to... That, that's affected by you under your initiative, but now that we're back to you legitimately, what do you want to do this round? Well, you're quite annoying, aren't you? I'm going to ca- uh, use another arc, uh, exploit, and I'm going to be activating my armored mask. Standard point to expend a point from my pool, uh, standard action to expend a point from my pool, and I gain the benefit of mage armor. Okay. And that's it. Uh, that's a standard action, and then I'm going to just ignore Pig Farmer number one and walk five foot step into south, uh, not a five foot step. I'm just going to walk past him. Okay. Like in because you mentioned the crowds were kind of in the grassy area, was the road being a bit more clear? Well, I am still a combatant. Like, I'm shaking and I'm negative two, but it'd be like negative take two takes attacks of opportunity swings at you. It'd be negative two. Like, I'm a little hampered, yeah. but I'm still fully functional. So... Go for it. Okay. Well, for starters, if you want to go five, ten, and then that's twenty... Fifteen. Stepping in. Like, as soon as you get level with these guys, we start difficult terrain the very next step. Because there's a line of people behind them. Oh, well, I thought know, you mentioned no, that the people I, I, were on yeah, the, the greens. Road. Yeah, there, there's the road. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Yep. So dude will take a negative two kind of swing because I believe he's also intimidated. I think I'm intimidated. Uh, I'm not afraid of you. Uh, one moment. I need to get my armor bonus on. There we go. Uh, I need to take a swing. So we're gonna miss with eleven. Yeah, well, I think we all saw that coming anyway. Um, mm-hmm. Luca, ignoring, takes a swing, shifts the head, and dives into the crowd because there's a uh, sort of that polite traverse road that you know. Well, some people might want to get through to go to work and not watch the show, and <laughs> it just walks up the little path. Okay, that's you, sir. Yep. Okay. Um, coming around to pig farmer number two. So it's been a full round. So now I'm down to two more because he's spent the first of three. Bring us to Professor Niles Cronin. Uh, I do think you skip pig farmer four. Oh, I did. Right. Uh, pig farmer four takes a swing at Rom. Natural 20. Critical threat. Automatic roll. Confirm. Oh my gosh. And the 19 for the yeah. confirm. That is my AC. You're lucky I don't have my scythe out with a times four. It's an actual. Because I, I have a two choice of oh, scythe yeah. and club. And I'm like, ah, they have clubs. Who walks around town with a scythe? Come on. Oh, Are I'm you so allowed glad to crit on a crit? Uh, it's, a, it's a house rule. If you 20 on a 20, uh, you get auto max damage. But it's not one we use. Or yeah. have used in the past. Kind of what rules is written. Brand. I've been meaning to change that, but my thought was to give people that have never played this the experience that the writers intended, as opposed to house ruling the shit out of everything. And it's like, oh, cool, your story is, and everybody's story is different, but at least ours is closer to, at least my side of the story is closer to, like, you know, the page. Anyway, um, yeah, time for some damage. Yeah. 11 points. Oh. Ding. <laughs> Ring your bell a little bit there, chum. Yep. Ding. Niles Cronin. What do you want to do? Oh, that one that likes to spill blood. Let's have some fun. Uh, just bruising. I'm going to run up there and I'm going to disgorge that one. He's got some fun things inside, I'm sure. So okay. I want to run up. Or take my five foot step towards. Target exactly. pig farmer four. <laughs> yeah, you got it. And I'm gonna take a bite. Rip, rip, rip chomp, chomp. 
I yeah. wish I could multi attack, but I. Oh, wait, five foot step. I can still take a full yeah, attack. Yes, you can. Yep. I take a full attack. I do a bite and two claws. Please do. Let's see the fun things that are inside you. Pig Farmer 4 can wait, but I can't wait. Let's go. Uh, 17 for the first bite. It's a hit. Uh, 18 for the first claw. That is a hit. And uh, 15 for the second claw. That is a hit. So damage. Why is that so like that? Here. Um, no, I'm just, I'm seeing I have like 1d8 plus 1d10 plus 2. I'm not sure why there's a 1d10 in there. Um, interesting. Can I just drag it at, how, how can I remove a dice from the damage? Uh, you, you'd have to delete the whole line and then start a fresh line. Uh, Will it auto assign the damage? Not necessarily. Uh, if you have the little magnifying glass, you should be able to... I'm looking at it on the edit. There we go. Okay. And then uh, where the actual like dices are located, you should be able to right click it and hit delete item or clear dice, clear dice. It's like the little oh, race yes. or something. Oh, yes, excellent. There you go. And dice should just gone. be one, <laughs> eight. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to... Yep, sorry. Bite. I'm mucking with your character no, no, on top no. of you. I was just trying to help. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, all right. Cool. Uh, bonus plus two. Uh, stat should be right. strength. Now, what is your bonus? Yeah. Uh, with mute, mutagen in, uh, it should like, be... I, I've put your strength stat in there, which will give you strength damage. So what's the plus two bonus you've put in there? Uh, in play. Why have you put an additional plus two? Well, it's normally plus two. Now... Because of what? Is strength. Yeah, I've got. Immediately. You don't need to put plus two in there. You just put the actual strength in there. See how it says STR? So that'll automatically mm -hmm. give you your strength. Trust me. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just trying to look at the mutagen that I'm using here. Okay, mutagen okay. is plus four strength. So my mutagen adds a plus two. Okay, I got you. Okay, so there you go. Two's back in. And yeah, yeah that, that should work. Go ahead. All right. Excellent. Click, Thank you. Click, click away. Uh, he, seven. He bites himself a big farmer. Chomp, chomp. Big farmer four. And then... He just bites him in the neck. Uh, and blood starts spurting everywhere. Five. Slashing him open. He goes limp. And then and, twelve. And then he rips out his spine. <laughs> yeah. So Niles just like leaps, does like kind of a bit of a beast child, kind of like lunge, uh, run towards on all fours, lunges at him, teeth clamp into the throat, and while that's happening, the like claws are like just disemboweling. Like there's a left hand clear the flesh, and then a right hand clear the intestine. Yeah, and it's like just... so there's a there's a splatter zone. The right hand's got, like, the intestines wrapped around his wrist, and he just pulls a whole bunch of it out, and the dude just falls to his knees and, and back over his ankles and just bleh. <laughs> yes. Lunchtime. Okay. Uh, stinky. I could spray twice a day. You want me to hit him again? Oh. <laughs> uh, stinky? What do you, what do you want uh, uh, no, he... number two to do? Um, Chase him down and bite him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Arr. Let me pull up Stinky stats. Arr. Stinky, what you doing? Oh yeah. How you how what you doing and how you do it? This is plus to hit. Um, looking at minus four. Oh wait, no plus five. But he doesn't do a lot of damage. Actually, looking at what he has available to him now, no, Stinky's going to revel in the Viscara. Stinky actually can't do damage. <laughs> okay. It's if it says D three minus four, it's still a minimum of one point. Just so you know. Yeah. No, he'll he'll dive in, like okay. on what Niles is doing. He's all up in that. Oh, okay. So he, nom, daddy's nom, nom, happy. Nom, nom. He's happy. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Dinner. Yeah, nom, perfect. Nom, nom. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, the Angel Knight, right? You just see the like the helmet. <laughs> right? He's watching. And he's like, do and go and blow, right? And then you just like, Grr! and he sees Niles. And he's just like, <laughs> you just see the lurch. <laughs> Dude throws up in his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> like you just you just see he turned like he leans off his horse but he's got nowhere to retch because he's like <laughs> that's the problem with having a sealed helmet my friend just, that's the problem out, with having a sealed come, helmet come, like you just got this bib of barf that runs down his chest <laughs> <laughs> it's all inside the helmet oh my Hel- god <laughs> oh rum yeah, take that for your leader figure <laughs> yeah not shaping up so good is this guy rum Going to look at Niles very pissed off. He was mine. But fine. And I will step past Simri, or move past Simri, going north. Uh, gesture my head towards the one that's unconscious. Tie him up. And then I'm going to slash at Pig Farmer 1 with my scimitar. Got him targeted? Uh, yep, but I miss. Because okay. I'm too angry. <laughs> too mad at... Uh, too mad at... Too mad at Niles for <laughs> taking my kill after that guy hit me. I gave you your share. Round 3 brings us to Simmery. I just ordered to tie someone up. <laughs> yes. Ah, I see. I mean, not Can ordered, I... told to. There's uh, a difference. Asked to? <laughs> Suggested. Hmm. A little wink yeah. and a slap on the ass. Hey, could you tie him up for me, Hanny? <laughs> Smack. I will kill you for that. Since I'm not going to provoke anyone, I believe... that there's no secret citizens in the crowd of squiggles that have disappeared that are going to suddenly try and stop me. You should be good. Yeah, sure, I've got rope. Okay. Pull up rope, start tying. Okay. Um, The cleric's flock okay and now I'm into the midst of pig farmer one pig farmer two that's pretty much the bulk of the crowd scream freak out and just flee (laughs) like you guys are like threatening stabbing and then you know like weapons come out and there's going to be chopping or whatever and then just Niles goes nuts and eviscerates a man in front of the crowd and there's that one woman scream ah and everyone's freaking and backing off from Simri and Rom's weapons and everyone looks at what Niles and then they they see the skunk and it's like the rabbit from Monty Python it just goes right off the head and just, they just freak and flee <laughs> the crowd disperses all by itself including pig farmer number one Rom, attack of opportunity as he bugs out I'll just move him five feet because uh, he's, he's I'm going to attempt to I'm going to try and grab him. Okay. CMB, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, CMB check of 15. Uh, yeah, that hits. Against his CMD. It okay. says it hits. Yeah, so he is grappled. Okay. Uh, th- that might be going against his AC, not his CMD, so I think I'll need to check that manually. Uh, it says Aiden CMB roll. 15. Like, see how it actually says CMB? So I, uh, yeah. I, I will look, but pretty sure they've okay. got this down. Uh, because whether it's my AC of nine or my CMD of 11, I think, okay, <laughs> I think you're good. Fair enough. I, I figure he's a big guy. So CMD might actually be a bit trust, higher. That's trust all. in the fantasy grounds. Thank you, sponsor. My camera's all whacked up. That's okay. Okay. But yeah. So as, as soon as he starts to go, I just grab him by the shoulders. No. All 
uh, pig farmer number three. I would all very much like to leave now, but he he's all, you know, all he can do is take a move. So he just stumbles back into the crowd because he's all covered in musk. Mm. And not not the kind you pay good money and get out of a jar. <laughs> it's <laughs> unwanted musk. Niles has bottled it and tried to sell it, but you know sales are down. Anyway, Luca, it's actually the, <laughs> go ahead. That wasn't interested in that market. Those who uh, did buy it, he's tried many. Yeah, it was the fast. label Elon. <laughs> it was just a terrible, terrible <laughs> musk. You know. Hmm. I totally would have given you a point for that in an, in another life, but that's good. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I'm I'll going to 10. need a bit of a bit of DM education here. What's up with my camera? Yeah, go ahead. So I'm going to move as close to this road as I can get, which about there would be fine. Okay, so you're um, okay. Now that the crowd is fleeing, they are. Now your road is considered difficult terrain because people just flee around you. Yes. They don't care about roads and grass. Which is why I only I only moved fifteen feet. Okay, so that would be yeah. Okay, that's cool. Single move, 30, 15 and a half. Get out of my way. Shove, shove, shove. Um, can I have a CMB? Oh, actually, what is your CMD? What is your CMD? Thirteen. Okay, I am going to roll just raw twenties. Four, three, and 16. People are moving and shoving past you, and one guy, like, bumps into you. But luckily, since your path is out where they're going, they push you along, and it's not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to hamper you more movement or carry you. But uh, you're getting bumped and jostled, you know, CMB, CMD, ow, ow, ow. You move, Luca, what do you want to do? I'm going to try to cast Spider's Thread, and I would like to target the helmet. Okay. Oh. Uh, I definitely need concentration roll, because, dude, you are getting overrun by people. Yep. Uh, concentration check is over here. Okay. And I will use that. That I'll is a 17. I'll use the 16 CMD Jostle, and you're good with the 17. Now, your spell is what? The first spell level, first, first is spell? a zero level spell. Okay. So normally it's 15 twice the spell level, which is zero. So 15. So even if we went with the classic concentration, you are good. Spider away. Mm. Okay. So, and you hit the helmet or do I need attack roll or what? Uh, so normally this spell only takes a reflex save, but I am specifically, uh, the spell describes targeting just like the center of mass, kind of a person, a creature. Oh, okay. Uh, I am specifically wanting to target the helmet, so if you would like an attack roll. Um, in the spell, I just get a reflex, because you're just kind of shooting center mass, so I will make the target yeah. smaller. I'll just give him a bonus to his reflex. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, then I'm going to boost the save. Okay. To what? Uh, by plus two, which means the save is 16. Uh, where's my reflex? Reflex of this, plus my bonus. Not together. Okay, here we go. 18 plus, yeah, 27. So that's a miss. Or at least you, you know, you, you get it, and it's not, it hits mm. the barf. <laughs> yeah. like, like you know what I mean like yeah so solid I, hit but there's a viscous liquid that makes now, it so it doesn't stay if I make my save does that is that a clean miss or do you hit him and I just can move or what what does the spell say uh that is a reflex in the gates so it just okay. is a miss too much barf okay uh I use classic called shot gave him a plus four to his reflex looked up the dude it, in all fairness he was kind of trying to help that you actually did snag the helmet off because right That's, now it's just sloshing around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Well, I honestly, Ryan, between you and me, he's supposed to be inspiring courage, and I didn't do it because you guys made him barf. 
Because <laughs> it was just... He's inspiring something. So not only did I not get to buff the crowd and he got distracted for flavor, I'm like, okay, so what do I do? You know, so I was like, oh, he throws up his helmet. So, um, so I, I'm secretly rewarding you. You don't even know it. Uh, but hey. nice, nice moves from Luca. That's, that's good thinking. But unfortunately, a swing and a miss from Luca, which brings us to Professor Niles. And where do you think you're going there, little one? Number two? He's mm-hmm. one who's just having dinner. Just having dinner, Pop. What? No. You over there. Which one? The number two found. You're not going oh, too number, far. Oh, number three. Okay. So I'm putting you right on top of this guy's body. And you just well, jack yeah, the head number, up. Like you're, yeah. like you're on full force. You just like look up yeah. at him. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. You, you come back here, and could I take? Could you do diagonal five foot steps? Yes. Then I do that. <laughs> okay. Scurry, scurry. Uh, for yeah. flavor, we'll say that you all fours that like weren't really prone or anything. So anyway, you run over. Okay. Got yeah. And target I, three. I launch myself. Boom. Let's see what makes you tick there, little yeah, puppet. What movie is it where you see Wolverine's brother and they're like in World War II and the guy's doing the all, like, freaking, what's his name? Wolverine. Doing the uh, it's the first one. Uh, or sorry, uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah, Sabretooth is doing the man yeah. run. Like, he's on all fours. It looks ridiculous. But then he launches and just, like, Superman's straight line and then goes down on somebody. It doesn't look half bad. Yeah. This is what I'm seeing right now with Niles. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the boyt. That's a 21. Oh. Oh, dear. And the claw. That's a 19. And the okay. second claw. That's a 14. The, the teeth damage is 8. The first claw does 12. And then the second claw. Hello, puppet. Found the inner side. This is what makes you tick. Turns out there's not much here. Oh, he's now he's got you got stinky, musky body up all over you, dude. Ugh. But yeah, shred, shred, shred. Uh, didn't even get a chance to scream. Thanks for that. I don't want any memories of my death. And down he goes in a pile of intestines, gore, and puppetness. Um, stinky runs around, chews some intestine, you know. To help you chew on the new guy. I hate everything Master hates. I'm a part of Master. <laughs> Unless you have separate <laughs> orders for him. <laughs> he just, you know, falls you around as familiars Wait, do. So uh Stinky's tiny. Or number two is tiny. Yep. I hate the fact that you call it Stinky and it's sticking with me. But sorry, number two. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's, you called him mutual. Stinky when I was thinking of Snively, and then I didn't realize you were talking. I was working with you on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were talking about um, anyway. So uh how does a, a tiny creature navigate uh, a horde of medium-sized creatures? Is it still difficult? If they were standing still, I'd give them some ease of movement. But the fact that they're all, like, running around, uh, uh-huh. he could be kicked and booted quite easily because he's so small. So I think the, you know, the punt, getting punted equalized, like, levels out right. the small and not being seen or hit. So The only thing I would think of that if it were feasible would be to send number two after the masked horseman uh your second level honestly he yes. you, stinky what happens if he gets trampled by the horse because i make a second stinky okay because he's tiny he how does he get up to the guy on the horse right 15 foot range oh with the musk yeah oh uh well People are trying to flee every six seconds. I can't say I clear the field in a single round. They freak hmm. out and back off, and ah, and they're trying to run, but now, now they're falling over So from this over distance, each other, then, so. so number number two again hate, hates what Niles hates. Okay, and then we'll we'll see what the next round makes. All right. Yeah, do what we can with that. That sounds like fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> fun. Yeah. Funny enough, this is my cue. The crowd disperses. I failed. Everyone's freaking out. I've thrown up in my helmet. So he he 180s his horse and tries to, you know, leave. 
And unfortunately for the people, <laughs> he's willing to not mow travel down, them, not mow down. But you know what I mean. Like if he my mowed horse, down them, <laughs> my horse movement is fifty feet. And if I carefully, excuse me, pardon me, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, I could pretty much exit the map with a double move and be gone. So he bugs out. He's gone. Just a cameo, you know, saving the saving him for later. Just a cameo. Mm. Um, however, Niles, give me a perception check in the tower. Luca, give me a perception check in the tower. And Rom, tell me what you're in, doing in this the way. tower. In the tower. Where is the tower? Oh, okay. Yep. Gotcha. In the towers, and you don't know what the results oh, are. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, yeah, tell, yeah. Boop. Unknown. Um, so one thing I realized that, uh, needs to resolve first is when I went for the grapple, because I am untrained in grappling, like I don't have the improved grapple feat, I would have provoked an AOO from this guy. Yeah, but I'm not trained in unarmed, which would provoke from you and... Fair enough. So, and I'm, I'm fleeing. I'm not interested in, like... If you have a hold of him and it comes back to my round and I can't move, yes, he'll turn and scrabble and wiggle and scream at you like a little girl and try to get free. But yeah, in the fleeing, I'm not gonna like oh yeah, shot karate chop. No, so. Um, but can you still grab him with these rules? Uh, yes, I, I can. It just provokes an AOO. Hmm. Okay, so. Um, okay, so I actually already. need to. Where was I? Because I I never really got away, so I'm gonna back up yeah. his movement here. So you are right there. Um, and I am Pig Farmer 1, and I am grabbed. So I don't think I gave him grabbed. Just make sure I got that on there. So what do you want to do, Rom of the Gropey Hands? Uh, I am going to attempt to pin him. So I first have to roll to maintain the grapple. I get a plus five to that. Okay. Oh, that is a nat 20 for a no, 30 No, I do total. believe I do get my first free anti-grapple check before you can maintain and get a plus 5 from me failing. Is that not true? Um, Normally, if I grapple you on the... um, Like, if I grappled you on my turn, then it came to your turn, you can do things without it. No, it's typically a standard action to break free or attempt to control the grapple. Yeah, I know, but you're you're adding a plus five to grapple, like it's a maintain, and you're you're still going. And we haven't, and you know, we haven't. I'm pretty sure there's a back and forth between the two before you get that plus five because he failed his first anti grapple. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, folks, AOO is he attacker hit? No, attacker rolls CMB versus defender CMD success. Um, attacker and defender grain grappled condition. Attacker may release grapple at any time. Um, attacker's turn complete. Attacker gains a plus five bonus to CMB checks to maintain the grapple. Okay, so your first hit isn't really a versus my role. Is as long as you clear CMD on the first grab, that's the hit. Now you get plus five. That's fine. I just wanted clarification. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so you're you're right. You're no, good. that's fair. Um, yes. So now. I roll to maintain, which I do. Um, and then from there, I can either like shift him, do damage, or give him the pinned condition. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to slam him to the ground, drop yep. him my scimitar, and pin him to the ground. Kick his knees out. He's like kind of facing away from you. Yep. yep. Pin. And that is my turn. Okay. Bringing us to the top. Of Actually, I will call out. As a free action. Look at how the inciter flees. He cares not for rules or your safety. <laughs> Looking right at the cleric who's right there next to the guy you're grabbing. Yeah. <laughs> the fog, there's, there's no one left but, like, the mom, you know. Okay, nice. Uh, I appreciate the flavorful roleplay. Thank you. Um, Simri. Uh, pulling yeah. out the rope. You know, tying up a helpless dude. Do do do. Rom seems to grab, snatch, and you know, kick down the guy next to you. What do you want to do? We've only got one farmer and the cleric left. A cleric. Yeah, mom is just standing there in horror. 
the, mm -hmm. the head cleric. Oh, I'm sure she takes a five foot step back in horror. Her flock fled. She just, whoa, you know. And so, you're telling uh, me that there's one farmer who's still standing because everyone else is gone. No, two are dead. Uh, and one's unconscious that you're tying up. And the last farmer just got pinned by Rom. So if you want, spend a full round action to finish tying this guy up because you have to pull rope and start tying. Mm. Fin finish the job, tie him up. But I'll let you tie him up and move, you know, drag him somewhere or, or move off to do something. Uh, the instigator, as Rom so politely named me, ran off on his horse. The people are fleeing. And Niles is out of control, literally slaughtering townsfolk. But hey, the Baron wanted the fear put in the people. And you guys have done that. <laughs> they wanted a public execution. <laughs> well, thank you, Niles, for it. It's not the public execution they needed. But it's a public execution they deserved. Not the, not the one we wanted, but it did, yeah. Mission accomplished? <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, I finished tying up the guy, and I turned to the mother clerk, and I pointed at her, and I say, this is your doing. We were trying to abide by the law and have a civil execution, but I see it was one of yours who came and incited the public, and that has led to this mass slaughter. Nice. You brought her here because she presented the helmet, right? And then the helmet woman shows up, or dude, you mm -hmm. did it. This is on you. Oh, oh no. Nicely done. This is on you. I guess say that's very close to villainy point, but I don't know. Maybe give half a one. I think that's cool. Um. The car, Luca. Well, this battle's all but over. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I skipped the cleric. She flees through the gate, goes back into the church to think about what she did. Also, uh, Pig Farmer 1 can attempt to escape. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, either through a combat maneuver check or escape artist check. 20. <laughs> 18. You're, you're targeting me. I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Freud. Luca. Freud. Throw a <laughs> rock at Luca. Luca goes out. Rom's concentration is broken. And I get up. Anyway, 18. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Let me check really quickly to see. I think I take a penalty because I'm pinned. It's like negative four, isn't it? Like I gotta, uh, I gotta you get take back penalty to negative four to your ace or you lose your dexterity to AC. But you actually don't take any penalties on your uh, that would escape that would check. make my that would make mine better. My dex is nine. I'm suffering a negative one AC. If you take my dex <laughs> away, I actually get better. I don't think we want that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hate to be the rules as written guy, but I'm not going to be a dick and do that to you. Ha ha! I'm nimble. Yes, my dexterity. I don't get to apply it to my AC. It goes up. Because I have a penalty. I do wonder, does that actually work that way? Like, you're flat-footed, you're actually oh, eats I'm harder just, to hit. Uh, oh, I'm sure some <laughs> dickhead. I actually had a guy oh. explain the, the dead condition to me, and it doesn't say that you stay down or anything, and once he was dead, he's like, I get up. And then saying it, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I get up. I begin my second life. Mm -hmm. So it yeah, begins the zombie. So... It's a cursed life. A half-life. We don't play with him anymore. Hey DM, can I have monkey grip? Even though I'm using a pole arm, out comes the tower shield. First level guy with 30 AC. I've learned over the years. Yes, it's one of many lessons I've learned. Uh, yeah. So he actually uh, rolls out of it. Sweet. Is he beat my CMD? And okay. There's no other penalties. Uh, break free. Yeah. Now, if I'm pinned, it's on my knees or semi prone or something. You right? aren't necessarily prone. Okay. Anyway, but you've you've got me in a headlock or an arm lock or unable, right? So I break yeah. free, and I bolt, which technically provokes. But you're not trained in an arm. Do you have gauntlets in your armor? Because you have a medium or heavy armor, then you do have weapons. Because gauntlets on medium or heavy armor are considered one d three weapons, and those you're trained in because you're trained in the armor, which means you have a weapon you can provoke alafisti cuffs. Nice little loophole. You're welcome. Uh, I do have a bite. 
Use it. It's really fun. <laughs> Miles, I'm so proud of you. Sure. <laughs> he goes to run away and you bite his ankles. <laughs> bite his ass. I, I mean, yeah, like, like you know, e each time he runs, I bite into his clothing and then give him the bear hug from behind. Well, I'm I'm provoking an attack of opportunity, so you get a single attack. Is it the bite? Yes. Okay. So, Aiden, bite me. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang you really on. got a big for it. Uh, I was there was uh, too much too much setup and not enough payoff. All right, he's targeted. Bite away. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna try and grapple him again. With my teeth. Uh, 17. <laughs> yeah, so I'm able to nab him with the teeth, get him back in the bear hug. Right. Oh, okay, so the teeth was flavor, but you're technically rolling your CMB. All right, that's fine. Yes. Bite his sleeve. What the? Okay, runs and his sweater stretches out, and he looks at you in horror, and you're like, mm, holding on to the... <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing to ever see you biting your hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I stuck my shirt in my mouth and made stretchy, gropey hands... <laughs> Ryan likes it. So, All right. So, Rom is like, you're just holding him, right? He's still like struggling to get away. Yes. Okay. I'm going to cast a Saurian to Quake on him. Uh, am I in range of you, sir? Okay. I, wait, wait, I believe it was supposed to be my turn. Oh, right. Because we were dealing with um, attacks of opportunity, not actually Rom's turn. Sorry. I have to move yep. the flag on the tracker, and it totally screws me up. It's my one complaint. So, it's Lucas' turn. Um, you want to push your way back through? Yeah. Yeah. Merc. 15 yeah. feet back towards everyone and then sure. notice what's going on. Disorient okay. and quake. Okay. Um, when did we start fleeing? Which, one, that one, one I think round, I can Two do. rounds ago. So one or two rounds ago. How long have we been fleeing? Two? At this round, two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um... Let me roll. I'm not going to automatically make you make a concentration check, but I'm going to roll some CMBs. And if I get really high, yeah, 15, 17, 14. Okay, somebody's nudging you enough. I would like concentration check. Sorry. 24. Nails it. I'm used to being jostled in the lunch line when I cast my spider thing to get the last meatloaf. It's fine. Okay. Go. Go, go. Quake? Uh, it is a DC fortitude, uh, DC fourteen fortitude save. Oh, okay. Da -da 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 -da. We got to get these spells on your character sheet so you can, you know, you have the you can get cast the cast button and almost feel like you're own. I person. have it added, but I had to do it manually, so it doesn't work properly yet. Oh well. What book is it in? Uh, that's from one thousand and one spells. Okay. Let's see how much that costs. Uh, where's my saving throws going? Uh, Fortitude? Yeah. Yeah, it's my best one. One! <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Uh, now you have to make an acrobatics check of 20 or fall prone. Unless you just want to, like, knock him down. <laughs> I, I will allow the for flavor with that, you know, glorious, horrible save, yeah. Rom bites him and goes to grab, and he just for suddenly doubles over all by himself. Rom, fall right on top of him. Blunk. Sweet. Uh, brings us to Prefer Niles. You are slaughtering people. It's not like, oh, we're all tied up, the combat's over. No, this guy will fight tooth and nail. The, I'm on my own with four crazy people. I don't care how many times you knock me over. I'm going to get up and run and get up and run. I'm very sorry to stretch out this combat, guys, but Niles, what do you do? This point here, you know, one more who I think is worth a point in time. Now time's to send the message through so these little midgets, intellectuals that they are, can understand the message they're trying to be taught. I'd grab one body by a yeah. rib cage and I grab the other body that I this body and I start hauling these cadavers towards the church one oh, in each end damn I love how you go from educated British to cockney thug when you transform that's noted I don't know if the audience is catching that but I am catching that and I'm loving it all right uh stinky I mean sorry number two 
Number two is catching a sled ride. Da, da, da. <laughs> Just sitting there on its back, you know, feet forward. Do, 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 do. And he he hates everything, so he hisses at everything. After we why why he hisses at Rom, hisses at Luca, Simri. Oh no, actually Simri, he's got a little soft spot for, but everything else he hates, like piss and vinegar. Literally piss and vinegar. We have yeah. tea time together. <laughs> <laughs> You're three rooms away, stinky. The camera shoots to her and Simri and the skunk having tea. You better go, little guy. You know he's gonna he's gonna get mad again. Little squeaky kisses at you. Okay, Rom, it's your go. Uh, uh so it, what is this guy now prone or pinned? Nothing. You start gotta start fresh. You barely have him grabbed. You can try again with a plus. Okay, five. I got I got him grappled. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I just I wasn't sure from uh, Luca's spell. Oh, right, oh, I just right. had him like fall prone based yeah, on but, that, yeah, but like he is, he is you prone. did have him grab so. Okay, gotcha. He is prone. Yeah, prone is not going to help me at all, though. Hang on. So let me give him prone and grappled again. And They make it sound easy, but you're pulling up things and you're pushing buttons. And nah, 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 nah. All right, have at me. Okay, MB has already been grappled. I get a plus five on this. So I'm going to attempt to pin him again. How long does the shaking last on me? I should probably be done by now. It got extended by one round because you just felt to disorienting quick. Ah. Uh, well, shit. <laughs> just took it off when you said that. <laughs> anyway. Um, I got a 28. Okay. Huge overkill. And he's prone. So after he's pinned and proned, what comes next? After he's uh, pinned. Well, so, sorry. That combat maneuver was to maintain the grapple and then from there I am pinning him automatically next turn if he doesn't escape I can tie him up okay so because I'm flat on my face you jump on him for the pin you manage to sort of already get you know look your ankles and your wrists are coming together thanks for the assist Luca you know and he isn't tied but you you know how the wrestlers sit on a guy and they just got the one arm holding yeah you know like so he's he's pulled back He's rocking on his stomach and the, you know what I mean? And you've just kind of got an arm wrapped around his extremities and you're like leaning your shoulder on the back of his neck and he's not going anywhere. And I will okay. consider the combat over before somebody comes and eats me. Um, and now it's just a matter of you getting rope or somebody just coming over with rope. And Oh, no. So one hand had the extremities I'm kind of sitting on him. Grab my scarf and you actually hear a clink, 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 clink as it runs against my breastplate as there's a chain on the inside of it and I will actually ch tie him up with my uh, chain scarf what's it actually called nice. Uh, yeah, nice it's called reinforced scarf that's what it is okay the crowd flees and we're left alone surveying we've got Rom sitting on a guy. You've got Luca in the open looking at Simri. <laughs> you got Niles walking between them, dragging bodies towards the church. And as the camera comes up to a bird's eye view, you still see Snow Angel spread flat, unconscious Nikolai. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what did I miss? <laughs> How cold! Yeah, he just suddenly sits up. What did I miss? I smell blood. <gasps> he's <wakes> up, yeah. <laughs> he in this flash zone. <laughs> he sits up like he's. Well, you know how like you're tired and somebody puts a coffee pot on. You smell the coffee and you go towards it. Yeah. <laughs> he rolls over and he's like, you see him go over to the trail of blood, like where the bodies were, and he's sniffing the ground, like mm -hmm, half awake, all groggy. <laughs> And oh, we, negative, my favorite. <laughs> it's good for everyone. It's like ground roast, right? And we will see you all next time, next year. Unless we can talk. Oh, I don't know. Is evil November month? I would like to thank the awesome, awesome role-playing Jay Tamlin, Ryan Messina, Ain Willems, and of course, my lovely daughter, Alexandria Tamlin, who shows up once a year and still impresses cast and audience alike with her evil 
nasty rants, rages. Wouldn't trade you for anybody. Would love to make you a regular cast member. Vote now. Call 555 Rollmonger soon. Make <laughs> Alex stay. Good night, everybody. Nice.